Hey guys, Ogzia from the US. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Today we're going freestyle. We're gonna talk about the missing piece, the last piece of the puzzle. What we need at Chelsea Football Club to make it great again. So we're gonna talk about everything that will come through my mind and everything that we have time for. But before anything, you know what to do. Help your brother out, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, share. Also, follow me on social media so we can keep the conversation going. If you've been living under a big rock and you didn't know what's going on in the real life, let me inform you that Chelsea been doing some serious businesses. We signed Hakim Ziyech from Ajax and we just signed Timo Werner from RB Leipzig and we still on the market for one more marquee signings but also other signings that are not considered as marquees but could be very very good signing for Chelsea Football Club. Many people have been suggesting that uh, we should start by fixing our defense and then we can move to the attack. They say that uh, we already signed two marquee signings in attack, Hakim Ziyech and also Timo Werner. And one remaining marquee signing supposed to be in the defense. And the name that is coming over and over again being Khalidu Koulibaly. So Frank Lebeuf, if you know who Frank Lebeuf is, uh, he played for Chelsea Football Club. He is a World Cup winner with France in 1998 and he's well known in the world of football. He's a pundit in many, many uh, TV stations now. And he said the last piece that is missing for Frank Lampard to start competing is the defense. And Frank Lampard is supposed to do everything he can to get Khalidu Koulibaly. Wow, that is a big call. And I know we've been calling for Khalidu Koulibaly for the last five years. There is no doubt in my mind that uh, Khalidu Koulibaly is going to be perfect for Chelsea Football Club. I've been saying this for ages. But the problem is the price and also the Napoli president. That guy doesn't like Chelsea. He always makes everything complicated for us. I don't have to repeat myself because like I said, I made so many videos about that guy and I'm sick and tired of that. So according to some sources, Koulibaly is going to cost around 100 million. Are we going to spend that money on a 29 years old Koulibaly for short term? Another issue we could face is PSG because they are looking for another center back. They don't want to renew Thiago Silva's contract. So he's a free agent at the moment. Arsenal fans, if you are listening to me, Thiago Silva is on free. Ha ha ha. That's what you do, right? Because you are broke. Anyway, so PSG are looking for another commanding center back. And I'm not going to be surprised to see them go for Khalidu Koulibaly. And let's face it, they might beat us because... Uh, according to some report, Khalidou Koulibaly just bought an apartment in Paris and it looks like uh, he was preparing himself to go back home in France. So guys, let me know if you had 100 million budget to spend on one marquee signing, are you going to sign Khalidou Koulibaly? My answer is going to be at the end of this video. The second name many people have been suggesting is Gabriel from Lille. I don't have to repeat myself because I made so many videos about Gabriel in the past. He will be one of the best in the future. He is not a marquee signing at the moment, but we have also to think about the future. If you want something immediately, you go for Koulibaly, but if you think about the future, you go for Gabriel. So my question is, would you consider 
Gabriel as Malki signing and go sign him instead of uh, going for Koulibaly. Gabriel is the man on demand at the moment. He is wanted by many top clubs around Europe. And one of them, guess who? Yeah, PSG yet again. Looks like uh, they are just uh, following us everywhere. You know, the left back option, they are all over Tagliafico and Alex Telles. The center back, they are all over uh, Khalidu Koulibaly and Gabriel. So uh, if we don't rush, if we don't act right now, we're going to end up by just getting our second or third choices. The third marquee signing suggested by you guys is Kai Harvard. Oh my gosh. The more you watch this kid, the more you fall in love with his game. You know, I've been watching a lot of games, but I'm telling you this guy is going to be somebody else. He can play pretty much everywhere. And lately, I've been just watching his defensive work because we all know what he can do offensively and how many positions he can, he can play. But there is a compilation on YouTube showing just his defensive work. Wow, this kid got it all. I mean, um, remember a few weeks back I made a video, you know, saying that, hey, I am all for it because he's, uh, he's awesome. And I'm not going to change my mind right now. But the problem is, are you going to spend the whole money if you are given just one name to sign between Kai Harvard or fixing the defense or the left back or, you know, the midfield or whatever? Who are you going to take? So the answer can be very easy if you go back to what uh, Frank Lampard been saying since the beginning of the season. We can't finish our chances. We create ton of chances and we can't finish them. Look at the game against uh, Bayern at the bridge. We lost 3-0 in the second half. But how many chances we created in the first half that we couldn't take? Mason Mount was one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He couldn't shoot. Uh, Olivier Giroud, I think, had a couple chances. Marcos Alonso also, golden chances. He couldn't score. And what happened is the team got discouraged and you, we just collapsed because we couldn't score. Can you imagine if we scored that first goal against Bayern, it was going to be a different story. So we need more goals than defending, if that makes sense. So for me, the defense is still okay and they are going to improve next season. They are not going to make the same stupid mix mistakes again and again. So if we, if we have Timo Werner, Tammy Abraham, Kai Harvard or whatever, Christian Pulisic fit, we can score a ton of goals and we might make our defense better just by scoring goals. Because remember, somebody said the best defense is the attack. Now it's decision time. Who is going to win this competition between Kai Harvard, Khalidu Koulibaly, and Gabriel? I need some drums. My choice is, of course, Kai Harvard. I just told you guys how great this boy was defensively and also offensively. He's tall. He can even help us with corner kick and all that. So my choice is clear. If uh, we have just to choose one player and one player only, it's going to be Kai Harvard. I will sacrifice the left back or the center back just to get this boy because I still believe in Emerson Palmieri and also Marcos Alonso. Don't forget that we still have Ian Matson, 18 years old, and he can still do the job if needed. And I also will trust the back four because I think they are going to improve. Just by having that 
attacking force is going to improve our team by more than 50 percent that is just my opinion you don't have to agree with me just leave your comment and tell me why you choose this player and not the other one looks like uh, the chelsea board frank lampard roman abramovich marina all of them watch my videos <laughs> i wish because they are just following exactly what i've been saying i talked about hakim ziyech last year i also talked about timo verna last year and i kept faith i made more than 10 videos about those players giving people hope saying that hey we're still on it it's not done yet until it's signed and people been calling me names they've been saying that timo verna is already gone uh, to liverpool don't waste your time and all that and until the last second i kept my faith and what happened <laughs> timo verna is a blue so this time it could be the same okay maybe by the next morning it's gonna be on the news that kai harvard already signed for chelsea football club that is going to be a dream team